If I can change, я думаю, что каждый тоже изменится. And you can change. Вы можете измениться. Everybody can change. To this day, I just cannot describe what Rocky is. And maybe that's the beauty of it, that it just touches on a level that even I don't understand. No one goes through life without a bunch of bruised knees and sore knuckles. It's just one big battle. And I think they identify with that because quite often life makes us go beyond what we think we can go beyond. The other ones were a little bit more realistic, a little bit more grounded in the streets of Philadelphia. I thought money had transported them into a, a different face. He's lost kind of like his grip on the streets. A lot of the Rockies I tried to make dramatic, like Rocky One, Rocky Two, the last Rocky Balboa, Creed. There's a lot of drama in there. Yes, but it's, but it's, it's not a sports film. It's a drama. It's a drama. So you don't consider any of the Rocky sports films? Not even close. You believe in me? Well, no one else would. I really loved you, man. I never planned to be an action actor. It just never entered my mind. I had always been more into dramatics. The first plays I ever did were always, you know, the classics, and then you go into um, Death of a Salesman, Eugene O'Neill, and you know, we'd start going to uh, uh, existential comedy, like uh, Ionesco, and so on. So. Even some by Camus. Even did a play by the only play by Picasso, which is very odd. Desire caught by the tail. I don't know anything about this guy you're fighting. Just some kind of exhibition fight. This thing don't mean nothing. My voice is uh, a product of a lot of things. I was uh, born in a charity ward, so we didn't have a lot of money. So they killed the nerve here, and that's why my mouth is crooked on one side, and my voice is very, very deep. I have to keep it up, and I slur because you know portion of my tongue doesn't form exact vowel sounds, especially ths. But it turned out to be a blessing. You know, it made it very, very unique. But you worked on your speech impediment in college. I, I tried right? to work on it as much as possible. I worked on it to the point where I became somewhat intelligible, but it would never be crystal clear. I would never be doing narrations. <laughs> for nature documentaries, but it's perfect for the kind of characters I play. This is going to be a time when you're going to have to uh, do things that other people don't think are right, but you know they're going to be right for you. And I don't care if everybody thinks they're wrong. You got to do what you got to do. I remember my first reviews on Rocky. They said I sounded like an old mafioso pole bearer, <laughs> something like that. It doesn't bother me anymore. I, I realize it's there. I can't do anything about it. It's different. I just sound like me. I don't want you getting upset. I said you're not upset, are you? Oh, I'm not upset. You sure? You feel okay? You sure? Sure. Want to go a few rounds in the back? Okay. Oh, champ. I don't like doing a lot of takes. Anything over three takes, you're not prepared. Really? I think so. Unless it's an accident, this is a lighting problem, the wind kicks up, someone blows their lines, but people shouldn't blow their lines three times in a row. Do you give everything on your first take? I, yeah. We stop fight now. Don't stop nothing. I didn't come here. Then this fight sitting down. Why but, do you think you have such ferocity? I may not be the most athletic, but I've become very um, animalistic. A lot of people have this killer instinct, but for some reason, mine is very near the surface. That is what I think adds a lot of validity to Rocky, because when he punches, the skill is not there, but the ferocity is just primal. And that's what gets him over the hump. It's all about what's at stake. That What, what is your motivation? Are you fighting to eat if I don't win? Do I get deported? You know, do I, you know, something like that. I mean, what are the stakes? 
quite often the stakes, oh, I just want to be champ, not good enough. It's, it doesn't, I, I can't relate to that. The audience can't relate to it. So when Rocky goes in there, he, in his first one, his goal is just to be not another bum from the neighborhood. I just want to be able to be, I stand up. I just want to be standing at the end of my life saying, I did it. And everybody wants that. No one expects everyone to oh, I'm going to be this. I'm going to be a genius. I'm going to, you know, invent a new light bulb. I'm going to walk in the moon. No. I just want to be able to stand at the end of my life and say, yeah, raise my kids, did this, pay my taxes. I, I lived a, a decent life. And, and I left something behind, which is dignity. Period. Because without dignity, without that sense of self, you better break every mirror in the house. Thank you.